What's up guys? So today I'm going to give tips for those incoming senior high school students. So let's go to the video. Tip number one, reflect on your senior high school track and strand choice. You're not alone in this dilemma with senior high school's track and strand choices. If you're still undecided, um, pwede ka mag-solicit na suggestions sa inyong mga magulang or your parents to your former teachers and your co-senior high school students. Pero wag tayong magpapabrainwash. Wag tayong magpapaloko. Tip number two. Assess your strengths and interests. To make informed decisions about your senior high school track and strength, do the analysis of inclinations and strengths, interests, and career paths. Senior high school program in the Philippines offer four, four tracks and specific strengths. Academic track, or the general academic strand, or GAS, Humanities and Social Sciences strand, or UMS, Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics strand, or STEM, and Accountancy, Business, and Management strand, or ABM. Technical Vocational Livelihood Track, which, in which agri fishery Arts strand, Home Economics Strand, Industrial Arts Strand, and Information and Communication Technology Strand is in Sports Track and Arts and Design Track. Tip number three. You're already a senior. Claim it. Senior high school can be both exhilarating and exhausting. Claiming your high school seniorhood comes with a new degree of social expectations and responsibilities. Tip number four, embody the philosophy of your school. So as soon as you enroll yourself in the school of your choice, you embrace a new family. So as a cliche, you will be asked to memorize and embody the mission and vision statement of the school. Tip number five, Introduce yourself, your skills, and your potentials. You don't need you don't need to stand out, but keep a showcase of your own brand or your brand. Introducing yourself, skills, and potentials to the people around to the people around attracts opportunities for you to grow more. Tip number six. Focus on long-term learning outcomes. When you focus on long-term learning outcomes, you gather more or you gather the major pieces of the puzzle and see the big the bigger picture of your goal. Direct all your learning efforts to your career, career path, and not just your to your academic ends. Tip number seven is remind yourself about grading system and academic standing. Keeping track of academic standings. Keeping track of academic standing and aware of grading system will help you strategize your studies and save your voucher in case you may voucher kayo. Then, with a conscious effort, you can you can uh, overcome your war, what you lose, and take inclination to the next levels. Tip number eight: break your procrastinations. Have procrastinations or your first can <laughs> procrastination habit. Take procrastination as a serious problem. Don't wait for the performance size and, requir and written requirements to pile up and start doing them a few days or a night before deadline. So, kailangan gawin yun agad para hindi, kayo, para hindi hassle, para hindi kayo mapag-iwanan. Next is very simple and very general. 
you must be organized. Kailangan organized ka sa lahat. Eh. You should keep your journal, your planner, and mali pala. You should keep a journal or a planner and start plotting requirements and deadlines. So parang pag may mga binibigay sa you yung teacher or yung professors nyo, dapat tinatago nyo yung mga re kasi requirements yun. Um, just like this clipboard, kailangan nyo ng clipboard or clip envelope. Mini lang, maliit lang. Para dun yung itago. Para hindi siya mawala. And in case na hanapin nyo or hanapin ng professor or your teacher, dito lang kayo kuha. Or sa envelope nyo lang kayo nyo kukuhanin. So, tip number 10 is balance your academic and extracurricular activities. Extracurricular activities are the significant part of senior high school holistic learning experience. Whether, whether an active participation of student organizations, sports, academic, and talent competition or outreach program, extracurricular, extracurricular activities complement academic. Tip number 11. Don't complain, comply first. Your teachers are not just tripping around, terrorizing your, you with nearly unrealistic academic, academic word, workloads. Parang, wag tayong masyadong magreklamo. Parang, imbis magreklamo, gawin mo na lang. Kasi, pag hindi, mapapile ka ng mga schoolworks. Then hassle. Next, tip number 12. Keep projects and performance above expectation. Kailan mo itaas ang level ng expectation. Don't settle your medio mediocri mediocrity. Don't settle for mediocrity. Always strive for excellence. Take every project and performance performance, major or minor, a chance to bring out the best that you can do. Dito mo ipakita ang galing mo. Para hilahin mo yung expectation level ng yung teacher pataas, hindi pa baba. Tip number 13, improve your communicational skills or your communication skills. Para Ma, ma, dapat marunong kang makihalubilo sa iba. Dapat, you should be socializing with others so para hindi ka masyadong nervyos, nervyoso. Uh, Ganun lang yun. Number four, tip number 14 is keep your reading ahead of the lecture. Teachers, however, stick their portfolios or don't always tell you accurate information. Minsan may mga na ano sila information kaya kailangan natin basahin or mag saliksik ng informations ahead of the lecture. Tip number 15, always listen and focus on meaning. Dapat di ba si kanina? You must improve your communication skill, but keep your mouth connected to your ears. Successful communication starts with a good grasp of the whole situation, and that, and that is possible when, with you listening well and focusing on meaning. Tip number 16, don't be afraid or don't be scared to ask questions. Wag tayo may hiya magtanong kasi pag na ano may mapapagiwan ka na naman. Tip number 17 is build an open communication with your parents. If you believe you're still right of, or you're still on the right track but you made something to disappoint your parents, tell them soon soon and ditch your your guilt feeling. Oh, yo. Tip number 18 is develop good spending habits. Why? You don't want to look penless or ayaw magmukhang kaawa-awa or yung walang pera. Whenever you need to shell out for the group 
activity or projects. You should create a working budget out of your weekly or monthly allowances and take control of your spending. This tip number 19, deliver yourself in a professional way. Meeting deadlines and extending courtesies at all times are simple acts of professionalism. Delivering yourself in a professional way complements with showcasing your best attributes and your branding for your brand. Tip, tip number 20. Start bringing out the classiness in you. You should always be prepared. Wag yung masyadong OA ang dating, dapat yung class, classic lang, parang normal. Just be who you are. You don't need a total makeover for it. Just be simple. Be natural. Tip number 21 is make friends and networks. This is very important because making friends and broadening a network can be a good social investment. Think of it. Your senior high school friends and acquaintances can be your poten can be potential business partners and clients in the future ventures. Number, tip number 22 is surround yourself with proactive people. In senior high school, collaborative learning is emphasized, hence more group tasks and more people to deal with. So, dapat makahalibuilo ka sa mga proactive people para parang helping hand lang yan eh. Parang tulungan, tulungan kumbaga. Then, there will always be a comparison. So, yeah, that's all. So, bye guys.